Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's brief video, I'm going to be comparing two medications, Viagra or Sildenafil and Cialis or Tadalafil, which are arguably two of the most widely prescribed medications for the management of ED or erectile dysfunction. I'm going to compare them head to head under seven broad topics, which would include the uses, how to take it, the onset and duration of action, in other words, how long it takes to kick in and how long it lasts, the efficacy, the side effect profile, the effect of food on its efficacy, as well as the cost. I strongly believe that by the end of this video, you'll be well informed enough to make a decision as to which one will be right for you for your particular circumstances. Well, let's start off with the uses. As is obvious, both of them are approved for the management of erectile dysfunction, but Cialis has an upper hand in this case because Cialis is also approved for BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, which basically is an enlargement of the prostate. Now, if you think about it, age or getting older is a risk factor for developing ED, which is the same risk factor also for developing BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. So that means that men who suffer from both conditions can actually take Cialis or Cialis will be more advantageous to such people because they will be killing two beds with one stone, taking care of the BPH as well as taking care of the ED issues. So in this round for uses, Cialis has a slightly upper hand when it compares to Viagra. The second area is how to take it or the dosing. Well, Viagra is only available as an on-demand medication or in other words, it's on an as-needed basis alone. On the other hand, however, Cialis can be taken in two different ways. The same on demand or as needed basis as Viagra, but in addition, there is a lower dose that is available to, to be taken on a daily basis. Taking it on a daily basis allows for, you know, spontaneity. It allows for you to be ready at any time. Whereas with respect to Viagra, you really have to time it and there's a lot of anxiety amongst, did I take it at the right time or is it going to be active by the time I'm ready to engage in sexual activity, you know, things of that sort. This brings us to the next important topic, which is the onset and duration of action. Viagra is believed to kick in or has an onset of action of about 30 minutes or so and lasts for approximately about four hours. However, the time to reach maximum concentration for Viagra, which we call the T-max, is about 30 minutes to 120 minutes, in other words, 30 minutes to two hours. Comparing that to Cialis, Cialis has an onset of action of about 15 to 45 minutes and lasts about 36 hours. However, it's time to reach the maximum concentration or the T-max for Cialis. It's about two to four hours. So there is a little bit of a trade-off here in both scenarios. While Viagra and Cialis both have a similar onset of action, the time to reach its maximum concentration is slightly longer for Cialis compared to Viagra. I think, however, that Cialis still has an upper hand when it comes to its duration of action because think about it, it can last about 36 hours. So that takes the guesswork as to when should I take my pill? Because within that 36 hours, you can get erections, you know, multiple erections within those 36 hours. So like I said in the earlier point, it allows for more spontaneity. You don't have to be rigidly planning, hey, did I take it one hour before? Well, is it gonna be active by the time I'm ready? That takes all the anxiety away. So this also, in this topic also, Cialis has a little bit of an upper hand. Now let's talk about efficacy. How well does it do what it claims it will do? I think the efficacy is very similar. They are reported, the reported efficacy for Viagra is about 84% compared to that of Cialis, which is about 81%. So uh, it's not really statistically significant. Most people taking either medications are satisfied with the outcomes that they receive by taking either of them. So this one, I put it at a, a draw. Now let's talk about some side effects. While both medications have a very similar side effect profile, headache, flushing, muscular pain, vision problems, abscess, stomach. However, there are some minor differences, especially when it comes to the side effect of vision changes. Both medications are noted to cause some vision problems in some people. Notable is a, a, a unique situation where some people are not able to tell the difference between blue and green. Now, this tends to be more predominant or this tends to be seen more with Viagra versus Cialis. On the other hand, also, the side effect of abscess stomach 
is more likely to be seen with Cialis versus Viagra. So depending on what your unique situation may be, if you have a history of vision problems, they may be staying away from Viagra and rather trying Cialis may be the better option. Or on the other hand, if you already have stomach issues, then maybe Cialis would be the better option for you to go with. Now let's talk about the effect of food on their absorption or on their efficacy. Viagra's absorption is affected significantly by food, especially if you have a high fatty meal. There are some studies to show that the time to reach maximum concentration can be delayed by as much as 60 minutes, a whole one hour to two hours if Viagra is taken with a fatty meal. On the other hand, Cialis is not affected by food. It can be taken without regards to food before or after food. So if you are planning a, a date night where you're going to be eating quite a lot of food and after that you have some plans of engaging in sexual activity, maybe Cialis will be preferred because you know that the food you just ate will not affect its absorption and consequently its efficacy. And then finally, the, one of the most significant factors that people actually consider, which is cost. And so I did compare 30 tablets of the maximum strength of Cialis, which is 20 milligrams, and 30 tablets of the maximum strength of Viagra, which is 100 milligrams. I compare them using GoodRx's website, and if you're not familiar with GoodRx, GoodRx, if you're in the United States, it's a drug discount program that gives you a discount on your medications. And what ended up is that 30 tablets of both medications came to approximately between $15 and $20. Uh, depending on which pharmacy or which area you live in and so for that I kind of put them at par The once daily the lower dose Cialis once daily dosing is approximately uh, About $15 or so for 30 tablets using good RX as of the time of recording this video So in terms of cost, I think they are very comparable depending on where you live I don't think one is going to be more significantly higher than the other now, if you have insurance, you know that there are limitations, uh, at least here in the United States, most insurance policies will pay for only eight tablets every 25 days or so, or six tablets every 25 days or so. So a lot of the people that I talk to actually go ahead and rather utilize a coupon, a drug discount coupon like GoodRx, because you get relatively competitive prices uh, for that particular medication with GoodRx. And this is in reference to the generics, not the brand name. Please don't get me wrong. The brand name is going to cost you way more if you decide to go for that. Now, since this is not a full review of the medications, I have on your screen now the individual reviews of the medication where I go in depth of each medication. So take a look at it and I'm sure it will answer a lot of the other questions that you have. Thank you very much for staying through. Catch you on the next video. Stay blessed.